Okay, Mr. Yang Bihan will talk about how's Ubuntu Ubukon Asia in your city, short history of Ubukon Asia, and things to know before submitting your bid. Mr. Uh, Yang Bihan, please. Hello. Thank you for the introduction. So, uh, I just prepared some few Indonesian expressions. So, Selamat uh, siang. Nama nama saya Yang Bihan. Saya orang Korea. So, uh, hopefully it's correct. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, so I gonna I'm uh, so my name is Yang Binan and I'm from the uh, Ubukon Asia Organizing Committee. So we usually uh, every year we look for the some new cities to organize our Ubukon Asia, and we also organize the local team. We're gonna actually implement the event, and I'm also from the our very very last minute sponsor Ubuntu Korea. So I also have a sponsor pass here. <laughs> so I'm also glad to sponsor the event here. So you might. So how you guys? How you guys? Are you guys enjoying the Ubukon Asia today? I hope you guys are already enjoying it. And I think the event is already great success. And I'm also since I'm also very enjoying the event. So let's get to the presentation. So. So in this presentation, uh, we're going to talk about some short history of the Ubukon Asia, and I also got, I also going to provide some how we're going to organize the Ubukon Asia every year. And I think you there should be some uh, folks who be interested to organize Ubukon Asia in your city. So I also give you some information on how you can submit your application to uh, host your Ubukon Asia in the city. And after some, after I providing some information, there will be some quick presentation about sharing some ideas on uh, where we can host Ubukon Asia next year. Oh, this is previous. Okay. So about the event. So currently, uh, in today, there are two large events in Ubuntu community globally. So there's a Ubuntu Summit. Have you heard about Ubuntu Summit? It was uh, it was actually about a decade ago. It was uh, Ubuntu Developer Summit. In, for short, it was it was UDF, and it's been rebooted about last year. So it's been changed. They changed their name to Ubuntu Summit, and they are now also uh, talking about the community itself rather than just talking about the. Uh, development process of the Ubuntu, and it, you, the event usually gathers the uh, Ubuntu community people across the world, and yeah, and the event is usually also uh, organized by people at Canonical and some community, but it's largely uh, driven by the uh, some steps at, at Canonical, and compared to Ubuntu Summit, the Ubucons are. It is, of, it, is, it is, of course, it's also a event for the Ubuntu community, but the organizing is a bit different from the Ubuntu Summit. For the Ubuntu Summit, it is uh, fully, fully uh, organized with the community efforts. So the canonical is like uh, just a sponsor at the event. So from A to G, like uh, choosing the city and uh, getting the venue and uh, fundraising and everything is done by the community at the Ubukon. And compared to Ubuntu Summit, uh, Ubukons usually uh, invite people in the in specific area. It can be some continent, something like uh, uh, we have uh, Ubukon Asia here, and uh, there is also Ubukon Latin America, which is uh, basically in South America. And uh, there is also uh, Ubukon Europe for gathering people in the Europe continent. So it's, and it's also usually organized by the local communities in the in the in that region. So let's have a look at the other Ubukons around the world today. So we have a lot of Ubukons here. We have Ubukon Asia, which is happening right now here, and we also have uh, Ubukon Europe. I remember that the last edition was in uh, Portugal, Sintra. It should be 2019, and 
we also got a Ubuntu protocol. I think I think I, I remember it's a kind of spin-off from the Ubuntu Europe, which was sold at uh, 2019. And we also have a Ubuntu Korea, which was held. It should be last month, September 9th. It's for the uh, people in Korea, and the Ubuntu LA, Ubuntu Latin America, for the uh, people in the uh, Latin America uh, region. It was actually held at. I think it should be only a few days ago uh, from uh, before before our Ubuntu Asia third day. So I think I remember it was sold at the Colombia and. There is also a Ubucon summit at scale. It should be at. I, I heard that there's an event called South, South California Linux Expo. So it's a, a kind of part of the event. So we have a lot of uh, many Ubucons around the world. And about the short history, and compared to the other Ubucon, it's actually uh, we we actually have a very short history. We started organizing our first. First edition, first, ed first edition at the 2021 as a virtual event because there was uh, COVID-19 ongoing. So uh, we actually thought that it would be much easier to start organizing event because uh, usually organizing the online event is much more easier than the in-person one. So we started organizing there. And then last year was the, uh, our first in-person Ukun Asia in Seoul, South Korea. And this year, which is happening right here, Asia 2023 in Solo. And next year, we don't know yet, somewhere in Asia, maybe in your city, we can discuss today. So let's talk about some format about the Ubukun Asia. So about the some conference content, we usually have this kind of content uh, is pretty much similar to other uh, technical tech conferences like uh, LibreOffice or Gnomeasia. So we have a talk, we have a content for talks, which is also called lecture, or about 20 minutes to 15 minutes, including uh, Q&A. And we also have a workshop sessions, which is usually uh, something like you're trying, you're trying to work with some uh, technical tutorial. So it's like there's an instructor, instructor on the session. Now they help you to uh, try some new technologies. And it's about usually 90 minutes to two hours. And there's also some kind of board of feathers, which is also called EOF. It's a kind of some informal discussion with the, some around some specific topic. I think you can, you can like, uh, it can be something like you can gather some uh, Indonesian Community folks at the room and uh, talk about the uh, maybe it can be talking about the Ubuntu Indonesian translation. Now, like, how you guys are working with that? And it can be also diff different topics, like gathering some other uh, people from other open source projects. And there is also can be some panel discussions. In the panel discussion, we usually invite some. Uh, panels at this stage, and a uh, moderator has some questions with the, some specific topics. And lightning talks, like I said, literally it's a lightning talk in really short time, like uh, three to five minutes. And for the other social events, we don't we don't just do conference talks or lectures. We also have uh, social events, so people can socialize themselves. Like uh, this is photo from the last year's Asia. We usually organize some conference dinner after the uh, conference event, conference schedules. Like we usually invite uh, speakers, organizers, and volunteers to the uh, dinner and have a dinner and uh, talk each other. And we also have some uh, group tour after the event. It's like uh, day three of the event. Like we usually have a half tour or full one day tour and invite some uh, few people to have a, uh, have, a, have a group tour of the city. And the exhibition, we also invite sponsors to uh, promote their, themselves uh, on site so that they can also engage with the many participants and promote their uh, products 
or services, they can also uh, hiring some uh, new talents at the, at the event. So the sponsor uh, booth can be different by the, their, the size or the configuration can be different by the sponsor package. So like if they got the really uh, big, big sponsor package, like uh, they, really, they, they got the really huge sponsor booth like this, or like, like just they're depending on their uh, smaller class. So they usually bring some of their swags or like they, they also sometimes do their events at, the, at their booth. And our event days, our events are usually uh, at the second half of the uh, year. So it should be around we usually try to organize between uh, September, September to November. And it's usually two days event, and around the August to October. And we usually, we, we require local team to choose a day that have a gap with the Ubuntu Summit at least 20 days so that we can uh, gain some better support from Canonical because the Canonical usually uh, our main sponsor of the event. And we also don't try to overlap with the, some public or religious holidays, like something like uh, in Korea, we have uh, some Chuseok or something like Seolnal, so which is a long holiday. We usually try to avoid that. And uh, we also, um, our event is still very new, so we also don't try to overlap with the, some other uh, large scale events that maybe uh, usually every people should know, something like uh, Force Asia, Post Cup, which is usually happening on April or uh, August. And we also try to avoid something like uh, AWS reInvent. It's usually uh, a lot of people uh, go there so that we can uh, avoid, avoid the date with the, their event and uh, can also have their other audiences events. And for the talk about our teams, in Ubukun HI teams, we usually the, have a big two teams here. So we are, you can uh, divide it in like, global teams and uh, local teams. So global teams are usually uh, what they do. It's like uh, they are usually consisted with the many uh, organizations from the, across, the, uh, across the countries. And they gather and uh, they decide where to host Ukraine Asia, in which city. And they also usually help with some gatherings and sponsorship, because the uh, organizing global event is usually a bit the sponsorship is a bit different from the local events. Something like uh, if we want to gather get sponsorship from the global companies, uh, we usually contact the something like uh, uh, their Asia Pacific headquarters rather than the, uh, some of their offices located in the region because it's usually uh, their job to do and budget also come from the some like APEC offices. So we usually try to uh, uh, raise some funding, fundraising through the sponsorship and uh, we also try to reach out some other peoples around the world, usually across Asia and we promote our event to bring some uh, international audiences uh, to, to the on-site. And we also do some partnership with some across the globe. Like uh, uh, we usually post our news on the Ubuntu discourse. Uh, then the, the, the news got uh, posted also in the Ubuntu weekly newsletter so that we can promote our event. And we also uh, have some connections with other local communities in other countries, so, they, so we also uh, frequently ask them to promote our event so that we can also bring their people to the on-site. And the every, our event is uh, organized in different city, different country every year, and the local team is also uh, very different every year. So the global team also provides some guidance on the local team that how they should implement the event. It's only something like, uh, uh, some details, some contents details, or something like uh, session uh, time schedule, 
and it can be also about the uh, sponsorship. And we also have a local team. Local team is also very important uh, when you're organizing the event, and because they are actually the team that actually implements the, our events on site on their city. So they just already handle the, some many logistics, like, uh, uh, like getting, getting the venue or bringing some, uh, some facilities, installations, banners, or like a sponsor booth. Uh, it should be supplied from the uh, local, uh, local suppliers. So it's usually handled by the local team. And the for now, uh, we don't have any um, some dedicated legal entity for the Ubukun Asia, so we just really ask the local team to uh, manage our funding for something like uh, raising our funds and uh, travel support is also handled by the local team. And the most of other things are usually like like happening on site. These are mostly handled by the local team. And there are also many roles when you're uh, when you're preparing our events. Something like uh, like there can be also some general uh, general role, just usually coordination between other other roles, sponsorship and finances. We usually work with the local team together to bring sponsorship from the some global companies or the companies at their region. And we also work with the contents together to for reviewing the proposals from the speakers. Uh, so there's, there can be some, sometimes there are some uh, proposals in their native language, so we get help from the local team to review the uh, proposals. And we also work together with the marketing. So local team usually do some marketing uh, through their local communities and bring, uh, bring participants to the event. And what we do usually, uh, we usually promote our, uh, promote through our social marketing channels or through the other uh, communities in the other cities so that we can bring people and videos. We just are usually working with some recording sessions or editing videos and publishing online. Web, it's like, you know, it's a website we are working, we also work with the website so that we can provide some information. The travel support, logistics, and we also have a role for the facility. So this is the something difficult usually for the local team when they're uh, trying to host our event because, uh, as I mentioned, we don't have any uh, some dedicated legal entity who gonna handle some uh, some difficult things like administration or fundraising. So we usually require local team to bring their own fiscal sponsorship or fiscal host who are gonna um, manage our funding. And I'm gonna handle the, some contracts with the sponsors. So uh, it's currently so we, it's a requirement for the local team. So if you don't have any uh, physical host, um, it will be difficult to uh, submit your bids to host in your city. And some few things, if you want to, con if, so few, few things to consider if you want to host the Bukun Asia in your city. Um, so we usually recommend local team to uh, bring some at least six to eight uh, members to your team because usually there's really a lot of jobs to do in the local team. And if you have, a, if you have some experience with organizing uh, large scale events, uh, they will be also helpful to organize Bukun Asia. And if you are involved with the Ubuntu community or other open source community uh, in, your, in your region, uh, that will be also great. Or if you're also involved with the Ubuntu project itself, that will be also plus. And we also usually have a bi-weekly meeting, with the global team and a local team, so that we can uh, share some updates on how they are pre preparing the event. So there should be at least two, two members who are gonna join the, our bi-weekly meeting. So if you can show updates. And so this is uh, some more detailed requirements for the venue and the city. The venue is usually, we require venue to be 
uh, should be handle, able to handle about more than 300 participants. And it should be also easily accessible from the city uh, with the, the public tra transportation available uh, in the region so that people can easily uh, reach the venue. And we usually uh, require some spaces for the uh, subject large auditorium for the keynotes and uh, lectures. And we also uh, have some um, small, small lecture rooms, something that can handle about 20 to 30 people for the breakout sessions. And there should be also some spaces for the registration and uh, some exhibition. Exhibition is for the sponsor booth. And of course, we need a beam projector or some large screen so that people can present their uh, slides. And for the city, it should be a it should be accessible from the major cities in Asia by flight, so that people can around the world they can easily go to the city, travel to there. Reasonable security and a good public transportation, so that people can also um, find their ways to the our venue and can join our event. And if you have a uh, strong support from the communities in your region, and if you also have uh, some, support, some strong support from the industry or government, um, it will be also helpful for your event because you can, uh, that can be your potential sponsor for your event. So it will be also uh, helpful for raising funds for the event, event expenses. And since we are organizing the global events, the CIQ is also important. Uh, it's for it stands for the customs, immigration, and the quarantine, which is you need things you need to um, check when foreigner and foreign participants are arriving in your city. So it's something like what you need to check. It would be uh, you need to check. It would be it, it's easier for foreigners to uh, enter the uh, immigration, like uh, if they need to prepare some visas, or if they need to prepare visa, it would be, it is easy to get one. So you need to check that um, policy, so that people can uh, easily enter, the, enter your country. And also, customs will be also something you need to check, because people will be bringing some, um, they can also bring some gifts, or they will be usually bringing some electronics, something like laptops. They can, there could be some people bringing some maybe portable monitors. So if there are some policy restrictions on the, some bringing some, uh, some electronics, it will be a bit difficult. So this is also another thing to check for the local team. And we have some also uh, something to share here. And we are also uh, have some existing resources that we can uh, share with the local team when you're organizing the event. So we have a website for the, our, our um, event. So it's like a, there's, a, um, Indico, there's a Indico instance, which can be used for gathering some um, helpful proposals. So it's a system for that. We can use that, use that system to uh, gather speakers. And we have a Ubukun Asia domain for the website, and uh, some social media and uh, some network it's also available to uh, help you organize the event. So you can try to leverage the, our ex existing resources rather than getting some new one. So if you want to submit your bids, submit your bids to application to host of Indonesia in your city, it would be uh, what, you will, what you need to do will be submit your some application with some details. So you will as I mentioned, you will need at least about six members in your team. And you also need some physical host, physical sponsor, and a venue and some accommodation, accommodation options that, that we can organize our event. And if you also have some initial sponsors and partners, it would be easier to raise your funds for the, some, uh, some important expenses, something like um, there could be some cases that you need to um, Expense, make some expenses for the venue, or something like some uh, some network facilities. 
And if you are prepared with the, uh, some requirements, you, you will need to prepare some uh, the documents. Uh, this year, we plan to require some three documents. The uh, first one would be bid proposal. We have a template for that. Uh, you, need to, you can prepare based on the template. And there is some uh, checklist for the uh, some uh, applica applicants. So you need to also provide some uh, some many answers for the checklist. And we also require some budget estimation so that we can uh, try to get a sponsor based on the uh, budget estimation. So this is our schedule for the call for hosts or bids. So we plan to open our call for hosts right after this event. So it will be it will be posted on the Ubuntu Discord. So you can find the information there. And once you are start working with the proposal, you must you must um, complete the, your preparation preparation by the end of the October. So end of the October is the deadline for submitting your bids. After that, um, the global team will gonna start evaluating your uh, proposal. So if it would be, uh, if your proposal would be suitable to organize host or Ubuntu Asia. So from the early November, there can be also some uh, Q&A session with the global team, so that we can also um, ask you some additional questions, and you can also uh, provide us some inf additional information that will be helpful to evaluate your um, proposal. And our deadline for the evaluation will be late November, and the, after we got the um, host, we plan to announce the next date, next next Supercon Asia date and venue by the end of the December. So uh, these are other some few notes that you should have a look at. Um, we are actually um, uh, we are actually gonna you know, we plan to prefer some uh, we don't pre we don't prefer the joint event for the next year because. It's been uh, pretty difficult to uh, bring some sponsors for this year. And yeah, so there's some other, some few things to note you can read. This is our organized guide. We are still working on it. And if you're interested, you can scan the QR code, have a look at details. OK, then let's now invite our some potential bees and discuss about some potential cities that uh, we're, we're to, where we want to where we want to host our Ukonesia. So we have two bases. First would be Dili, Timor Leste, and which is here. Okay. And there was also some uh, suggestion from the uh, Bengaluru, India, but unfortunately we couldn't have the speaker here. So we today we wanna, we only talk about the uh, Timor Leste. So let's say invite the, the Timor Leste and talk about their idea. Okay, uh, thank you. So someone, someone know Timor Leste? Okay, terima kasih. Ya, uh, uh, kalau Timur Leste dulu bagian dari Indonesia juga, uh, dan kita banyak belajar dari teman-teman Indonesia. Terima kasih Indonesia. Uh, kalau perkembangan teknologi, teknologinya kita banyak beradaptasi dari Indonesia, karena karena apa? Banyak dosen-dosen kita lulusan dari Indonesia juga. So, terima kasih Indonesia. <laughs> Oke, okay, uh, kita mau uh, ingin menjadi host. Kita mau ingin menjadi host uh, karena Indonesia juga. Karena bisa menginspirasi kita uh, dari banyak sisi, terutama dari open source-nya juga. Soalnya perkembangan uh, open source di Timor Leste sana 
kita terpengaruh juga di dari Indonesia. Soalnya kawan-kawan yang apa wisuda dari Indonesia mereka ke kembali ke Timor Leste dan uh, membangun komunitas-komunitas di sana. Jadi dari sisi historisnya masih ada kaitan juga ya. Oke, okay, uh, why we would uh, want to host the upcoming Ubuntu 24? Timor Leste uh, is a small country which is eager to learn open source deeply. And then uh, Timor Leste has an open source community that uh, prepared to host Ubukong 24. Timor Leste have a uh, participate the loka 23 uh, kita kita dari kita uh, ada apa satu tim dari kita dari sana tiga orang kita mengikuti acara ini juga so we ensure that uh, our stakeholder will support us as a government company university and community so thank you indonesia All right. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, Cesar, you know, right? Ah, thank you. <laughs> uh, so we don't have any speaker from the India, so we're skipping today. <laughs> Sorry. And I think that's all. That's all for our sessions. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, you can just ask me here, or uh, we actually occupy the canonical booths because it's already it's almost vacant so I, I think I will be um, almost there at the canonical booths you can also feel free to go there and uh, ask me any questions so any questions uh, you can also ask about the Timor Leste yes thank you for the introduction of Ubukon and the presentation of Dong Timor. We had a uh, Ubukon concert uh, Ubukon in Seoul last year. Yeah, correct. But can we do it in Daegu next year? Um, I think it would be difficult because we already hosted in Korea. Mm -hmm. So we are basically um, spanning the different country and different city. So, um, so even Indonesia would be difficult. So we are basically looking for some different city so maybe um, if it's like uh, after two or three more years later, maybe you can try to beat. Uh, if there is any, any more questions, I think I can finish here, right? Okay. I finished my question. I'm going to finish my presentation. Thank you, for the, thank you for joining my talk. And I hope you see you on the Kenko booth. Feel free to join. Uh, feel free to visit and ask any questions. Thank you. Thank you.